Mountain bike specific trails started to get scratched into the dirt. Kind of around the early 90s, fat tire fever would attract 30 riders. By the mid 2000s, it was 100, 200 mountain bikers. It exploded. It was amazing to start seeing families out who were new to mountain biking and it really started to grow from there. And so now, say we have a very, very diverse and large cycling community. We've got car cross, there's a, a lot of diversity here and a really enthusiastic community that's super supportive of one another and it's a really, it's a really nice community. Basically what happened in car cross is a miracle. Everybody kind of had to raise their game. So the cross country skills that we'd all cultivated riding on this trail network in Whitehorse, suddenly <laughs> wasn't really lining up with what the mountain was throwing at people in car cross. So that's been really cool too, to see people really become quite technical riders. It's a nice training ground that way, yeah. So Dirt Girls was started as part of Contagious Mountain Bike Club and really it was started as a group ride for women and female identifying people to have these inclusive, fun, non-judgmental, go at your own pace rides. To me it represents what mountain biking is about. Fun. It's getting out and just playing on your bike with your friends, getting exercise and fresh air and, uh, and socializing. And you know, the fact that it just keeps growing with new riders every year it really speaks to, I think, how important it is to a lot of people in Whitehorse. Living in Whitehorse, I think, gives a great combination of kind of a little bit more remote than living in a city, uh, as well as easy access to, to trails. So it's a less than two minute ride from my house to the head of the trail center. Um, and I would say that's probably the most important aspect for me of living in Whitehorse. And then the sense of community that the, that the small town gives you, um, knowing everyone around town, it's, uh, it's really key to, to having a great community around mountain biking. For our population, the number of people that are mountain biking is, is quite incredible. And then you have, you know, everyone from people just learning to young athletes that went to Canada Summer Games with us. Yeah, the, the community is so diverse and it really encompasses a lot of people in the Yukon because there's so many, so many of us that uh, love the sport and continue to do this. For myself, really, it's 
it's all aspects, whether it's going out with friends from high school, going out with new friends, experiencing the trails, showing everyone, having laughs, having fun, to going out with the kids that I coach and really watching them progress through the sport. It's, it's absolutely fantastic and it's one of the reasons that keeps bringing me back to mountain biking after each winter is watching kids grow and love the sport and begin to really embrace what is mountain biking culture. Whatever you've got, I likely have seen it. I don't like to brag, but she chucked. Yeah, I've been wanting to go for Dawson for the last three years, having finally got there and meeting the people that are involved in the riding community and how passionate they are, how driven they are to make make their little town an amazing place to come ride, and it already is. Between the flow trails and the downhill trails and the and the people that they have there around that community, you can really tell they're driven and they're gonna make it world class. It's gonna be the best place to go downhill riding in the territory. I think that Dawson City and the Yukon are becoming more and more well known as a mountain biking destinations for good reason. I mean, look around us. We live in an oasis in the middle of the wilderness, right? And you know, there's some great trails throughout the, the territory. Uh, Montana Mountain, Dawson City is growing, Whitehorse, Gray Mountain, you know, like there's some really great great locations for people to ride and it should be on the radar for Canadians and and folks worldwide if it's not already and uh, we hope that it continues in that direction. The crew that I started with they kind of went on to different things in their life. One guy became a like, gold miner and now he doesn't bike much. Another guy's like a driller and he's always out working doesn't bike much. Like the guys that I grew up with who, who like we started this whole thing. Like, I don't get to ride with them no more, really, ever. But, uh, like, I got a whole new group because of Tyler Nickel. It sounds crazy, but like, those are some of, like, the, the best people that I met in my life. And, like, I couldn't ask for more. Like, I'm stoked for the next couple of years. Like, I'm pretty sure me and the guys are gonna, like, continue on doing, like, great work that we, we've already done, you know? <laughs> this is cool, though, eh? Like the Trondic Gwich'in guys that are original downhill builders here, like they started kind of the whole downhill scene here. You know, like had they not done that, people wouldn't have been attracted here in the first place. And then some of these newer trails have opened it up kind of for everybody to come and not just downhill specific. Like I've seen seven year olds ride it, but then my 65 year old dad rides it and everything in between. ride down this dome and then you end up in town you end up in like a historic gold rush town with like 
boardwalks and dirt streets and like it's almost like it's meant to be biked on you know like The dome's kind of special. It's it's not like a peaked mountain. The Dawson region, the mountains are very like rounded, and it was never really glaciated here. So the dirt is it's got really nice dirt here. Um, it's like a nice brown reddish dirt. It packs good. Um, the forest is really beautiful. Like we have a lot of birch here, and then pursuing this trail development here. Yeah, it's like being a kid still, but you're not. Great, like I've like definitely see the impact physically what it's done to this community. I come around, there's like bikes everywhere all summer now. People like coming here riding. So like the positive things that came out of it is amazing. My goal is to really move competition along, make it more competitive, not only for the people that want to be competitive, but also for the rest of the community that benefits from that core active group of cyclists. I hope that we achieve uh, a really long-lasting uh, sense of community and so I hope that it continues to be a space where people do feel included. It's really just about getting time on your bike and feeling connected, you know, both to the outdoors and, and to other riders.